2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Champions Invitational is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth, and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course, following our featured group. Hi Luke, I'm glad to be here covering this week's featured group and what a pairing as these two have been hinting at quite a budding rivalry here. And so this week, Henny, they're vying to beat Tony Finau. This should inspire some brilliant play. Oh, Tony Finau will not be letting up this week, Luke, but he's such a nice guy, you almost don't want to beat him. I mean, it's tough, but you must. I don't think you're going to outdrive him, that's for sure. But I am play. Oh, maybe you can get him there. You have to putt well, though. Tony Finau might be a big, cuddly teddy bear, but when it comes to playing on a golf course, he's going to try and strangle you to death. Good luck trying to beat Tony Finau. There is literally no weakness in this man's game. Now he knows how to win. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Rich, what kind of mojo do you think this player's got after winning in their last start? This player has more confidence, I believe, than any other player in the field at the moment. This should be another good week for him. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. He has this putt to save his par. Putting for bogey here. And unfortunately, it's going to be a drop shot to begin the day. Not what they're looking for. A little nervy out there so far. And now let's catch up with John McCarthy for an on-course report. What can we expect from Echo Park Golf Club this week, John? Well, Luke, uh, one thing I can say about this after walking the course this morning, it's a long one. Distance off the tee, especially important here at Echo Park. Course starts off along uh, the big lake. There are a few holes that hug the edge of this lake, not unlike uh, a Bay Hill, but here you get hit with it right off the start. And when you get away from the water, you get hit with the sand on the sixth. There is a thin corridor of fairway that leads to the green that weaves its way through I think there's five, six bunkers leading up to and surrounding the sixth green. And from there on out, the players are going to be on the watch for the sand because it's sneaky and it's hard to avoid in certain situations. It's going to be an exciting time here, I think, this week at Echo Park. went in not bad and let's have a look at Tony Finau he's one stroke in front of his rival so far today great stuff oh oh my how about that for a par I mean you've got to expect this kind of stuff when you start up a rivalry with a tour player this is what they do this one just outside seven feet to the hole. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. And just a little bit of clean-up work remaining on this hole. Currently at plus one for the tournament. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. And after a par at the last, chance to maybe take a step in the right direction here.
playing from 110 yards out. Opting for the 9-iron. Come on, look after us. Little bounce to the right here. Well, not a bad approach, that one. Up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? All right, down the hill here. Got to be gentle. Looking good. And that will drop in for a birdie. He finds himself currently tied for fifth. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Here we are at Echo Park Golf Club, the fourth hole, and it's a big brute of a par four. Off the tee, your eyes look down the left-hand side and see two massive bunkers and obviously the water. So anything right of that is just fine. If you find the fairway, second shot is downhill just a little bit to a long, narrow green that has got bunkers down the right-hand side. Distance control with that second shot is absolutely imperative if they want to have a good look at birdie. Well, I'm sure it looked better in their mind before they hit it. Time for the second shot here at the four. And here we are with the third shot. Just three back from the leader. Didn't that look good for a long time? Very crafty, that shot. Oh, Dr. Chapinski strikes again. They've hold it. That's very gutsy. In the bunker with their tee shot, and that is a very good save. And now over to Tony Finau. He's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. How close was that to going down? Let's take a look at the leaderboard. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. It's time to step on the tee here at the fifth. to have chosen the seven iron we need this one to bounce right yeah that was a safe play let's take a look at what tony Finau's up to it's been neck and neck he's actually tied with his rival this is tough can he do it oh, what a touch of class holds it from the sand This putt for a spot in the top five. It's tracking. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? A par putt awaits. Job done. Let's head to the next. Trailing by a few shots after that hole. Time to tee off at the sixth. Really hoping they play this one aggressively. Beauty, didn't you? Golf became a power game, and there's few players out on tour that have more prodigious power than Tony Finau. If he really wants to go full tilt, Rich, it feels like everyone's playing for second. He is a dynamic player that has the ability 
to make birdies in bunches. The ball striking, I think, is always going to be brilliant. Watching him when he was on the Corn Ferry Tour, graduated to the PGA Tour, and just keep watching the steady progression. Each and every week, he just seems to get a little bit better. And the confidence level is over the moon with this kid. And to bundle it all up, Luke, he's one of the nicest guys in the world. You want to root for a Tony Finau. He is such a likable, lovable guy, I believe, that you can't help but root for him. And the wins that he didn't get are just heartbreaking, and we felt the pain alongside with him. I love watching this guy play. I root for him every single week. Yep, tracking well. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. Solid play finds that player moving up the leaderboard after that hole. The par five awaits here, but so does an opportunity. Take full advantage. Okay, let's get those two important things back. Timing and tempo. That's a heavy lie this player has drawn. Uh, not quite the shot he was wanting. Henny, what does that lie look like? Looks like they have a bad lie here in the second cut. Game of the seven. Yep, solid connection. This is looking good. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. I didn't think they'd be able to hit that from that lie. They're in the bunker, looking for an up and down here. And let's have a look at Tony Finau. He's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. Oh, this would be a good putt to make, and with it, a share of third spot. Was on a good line. This putt is about 10 feet from the hole. Bit quick in the stroke, that looked pulled. A bogey putter waits. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Our current leader is up by three shots. Ooh, we're at the par three here. I love these holes. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hole a long one. Still counts. A chance to move into the top ten on the leaderboard here. And you'll be proud of that one. Good way to bounce back from the bogey at the last. And what a way to jump into the top ten. So after that hole, he's now up to even with the card. Looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. Oh no, is that heading towards the bunker? Oh, that's unlucky. The buried line, the bunker, doesn't get much harder. Good 
Good option. Take your medicine and try and get it up and down from there. Getting ready to play their third. Five shots off the pace. That's tidy. And now over to Tony Finau. It's been neck and neck. He's actually tied with his rival. This is tough. Can he do it? Big time play that one at the right time too. Saving one there after being all over the parking lot, chipping in for the par. What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? Setting up this putt 10 feet from the cup. This is huge for momentum. Got to try and hold this. This for par. And there it is. Here we go, Rich. The back nine on Sunday. What are your thoughts so far? Well, Luke, I've been enjoying this pair of rivals we are following today. The two of them are pretty even for the event so far. Very interested to see who will come out of this with the bragging rights. Birdies are good. Harness them. Block the bogeys. They're bad. Even for the day, in a share of ninth position. You like that, didn't you? And here we are with the third shot. Currently four shots off the pace. Yeah. Nicely done. Let's take a look at what Tony Finau's up to. He's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. Just didn't drop. Well, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. Thinking this putt will help them pull in front of Tony Finau. Let's see if this will add some heat to the rivalry. On a nice line. And that will put them ahead of their rival. A great performance on this hole. Now three strokes back after that hole. Managing to chase down the leaders, closing that gap. Gotta like it. The 11th at Echo Park is a par four stretching at 430 from the back tees. Just a slight bit uphill off the tee shot. Find a spot at that far bunker, Luke, that you want to aim at and go ahead and turn it loose. From there, second shot goes over a nice little meandering stream that wanders throughout the golf course to a green, clover-like in, in appearance. But I got to say, this is really one of the coolest holes on the golf course. I love it. Yeah, that one will play. And Henny, what's he facing with this one? He is right on the 150 yard marker here. Going with the 9 iron, I think. Well, this one's going right at the flag. A wonderful shot. A chance for Birdie here on the 11th. You can mark it down. That's Birdie number four today. Step aside, gents. This man's marching into the top five. Currently two under for the day. I tell you what, inching closer to that top spot on the leaderboard, things are definitely heating up. 
Let's see what happens here at the 12th. Going with the eight iron here. That could play. Yeah, not a bad shot, that one. Hold this putt and a chance for second place. Oh, just missed. That's disappointing. Big putt for par coming up. And let's have a look at Tony Fee now. Yeah, he just made bogey on that last one. Will he be able to get out of this one? He's going to need a digging truck, maybe? I don't think a sand wedge is good enough to get this out. Now let's see what that shot did to the leaderboard. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. Well, the 13th hole here at Echo Park Golf Club uh, is not as kind. A big hole at 5.04 from the tips. Well, thankfully, it's slightly downhill off the tee. But yes, avoid those bunkers down the right-hand side. And of course, that meandering brook that is a feature of this golf course. Big hitters can actually take it over everything down the right-hand side. But that's for the brave few. Second shot downhill slightly to a massive green. Just some big bunkers on the left-hand side, but plenty of bailout room over to the right. Setting up in some very deep rough. Going with a three wood here. Getting ready to play their third. Just three strokes back. Well, that's a handy shot. Well, a lovely opportunity to save par here. He's in a share of third place. Teeing off now on the 14th hole. That was absolutely murdered. Playing from around 110 yards out. Three shots off the lead. Choosing the 9-iron nine -nine here. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Oh, a little shorty baker on that action there. And from the green side rough here. Wow. That was handy holding out from there. Not a good lie. Fortunate to hit the pin and go in. And let's have another look at that one. Great feel, great judge, great speed. Yeah, I like this.
And now over to Tony Finau. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Time to face a par four now. Good shot there, Beamer. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Setting up here from about 150 yards. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. That's not the outcome they were after. And here we are with the third shot. Just three strokes back. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Oh, I like the look of that shot there, Beamer. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Let's take a look at what Tony Finau's up to. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. And choosing the eight iron here. Oh, yes! What a shot! And that will move him up the leaderboard as well. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Let's see what happens here at the 16th. Opting for the 9-iron. Nine -nine. Let's finish with a flurry. It'd be nice to make a move up the leaderboard. Oh, that's a high-caliber shot. 16 feet to the hole. This is what they have left for birdie here. Oh, so close. And this putt coming up for his par. Trailing by a couple of strokes now. Now at the 17th hole. Good shot there. It's a fair way finder for sure. Well, Rich, this player is certainly making moves up the leaderboard, aren't they? Absolutely nice push on this final round. Still needs to keep the foot on the gas, continue making birdies if they have any hope of winning. Left yourself an opportunity. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard.
it was a gallant attempt. And this one is for his par. And let's have a look at Tony Finau. He's got some work to do, but he's only one back from his rival. Yeah, that's a top little chip shot, that one. Love watching this player around the greens. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Now take the stroll to the final tee of this round. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. Oh, that's piped. That's heading down the runway. It's been a good year. Three wins so far this season. That's not going to find the fairway. Uh, that was a little untidy, wasn't it? Straight into the water. Sitting at two under par. Currently tied for fifth place. Chance to shoot under par here. Make this for 70. This looks good. Ooh, right by the hole. Just three feet to go to the hole. Don't miss this. They can be costly. And that'll bring his tournament to a close. That's a shame. They came oh so close to what would have been an incredible comeback victory. The stories that we could have told if they completed the victory would be endless. Unfortunately, not getting it done, but still, what a performance on this final round. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.